Tonight, school districts across the country are struggling to deal with teacher shortages. It's a complicated equation that could lead to a long-term problem. So how did we get here? The problem stems from three big factors, a rising number of teachers retiring, a spike in resignations, and fewer students choosing education as a career path. The result? teacher shortages. But the problem has gotten so bad, the state is now waiving some recertification requirements that were keeping former teachers from rejoining the workforce. The move is just one of many incentives being offered to entice teachers back into the classroom. This is a problem plaguing even some of the most wealthy districts. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is finding out why and what's being done about it. As a mom, when my two little girls go to school, I want them to have a teacher in their classroom. But school leaders are sending out the warning that for some children, that might not happen. The teacher shortage is getting severe. We're being asked to do more with less. Dwight Pearson teaches math at St. John's High School north of Lansing. He says teacher workloads have increased with testing and legislative requirements. Then COVID-19 hit. He considered retiring. At my school, and I think a lot of schools across the state, um, I'm literally doing double the work that I used to do. Um, I am teaching students online and in person at the exact same time. Our staff has also experienced loss, um, which is devastating um, loss of parents, loss of colleagues. Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources at Oak Park Schools, Carol Bacchidaglio, says districts across the state are seeing an increase in retirements. She says we're seeing the perfect storm for a crisis. The perfect storm being far fewer young people are choosing education. So we have far fewer coming in and then we have a mass exodus going out. The Michigan Department of Education released this list of subject areas where we are seeing a critical shortage. Everything from art and gym to English, math and science. There are colleagues that I have around the state who have had no teachers in positions and I'm talking 10. 20, 30 in their district, if not more, unfilled because they cannot find teachers to teach. Dr. RJ Weber is assistant superintendent of academics in the Novi School District, even in destination districts such as Novi, which was recognized by U.S. News recently for its success. This means sometimes positions go unfilled for months. So what can be done? School leaders say it is about state policy and economics. And we have 23, 24 year old uh, folks starting their teaching profession, they're starting and they're making 39K a year in their $86,000 in debt. You have policy, but how much support is behind the policy? Consider this, a 2018 study by the Consortium on Policy Research and Education found that more than 44% of new teachers in public and private schools leave teaching within five years of entry. School leaders say if we can provide them with funded support for any state requirements, more would stay. That first five years is really critical. It's such hard work. You know, it is, it is really, really hard work. And that hard work requires a lot of support. The reason I decided not to retire is I still love teaching. If you want to check out the job postings in schools and learn more about state programs to recruit teachers and help people get into positions, we have more information at our website, WXYZ.com. In Oak Park, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.